All right, let's just do a quick video on projections. Uh, I have a couple cylinders here. This part is aligned. Uh, so I have a cylinder in the middle and a cylinder right here. So uh, let's say you want to create some like a, a 3D line um, from the center of this circle to the center of this circle. Um, they're not really circles or cylinders. If they were circles, um, we wouldn't have uh, quite an issue here to draw it like relative to this plane. If you just want to draw a line on this plane from the center of this uh, cylinder to this one. Um, it will end up putting it sort of in the center of these features because they're cylinders. So uh, to do a 3D line from the top, uh, you know, project onto this plane between these two uh, cylinders, we need to project them. So what we need to do is go into construction, go to projection, and we're going to project cylinder one onto plane one. Okay, and you'll see the projection. All right. Then what we need to do is we're going to do the same thing for the other one. I'll make this 3D and I'll turn the features off. And then what we'll do is we will go back into construction, go into projection, and I'm going to select cylinder 2 and plane 1. Okay, and I'll hit OK. So there's our projections. All right. Now what we can do is we can go into features. We can go to 3D line. And I'm going to recall these projections. And you'll see the line up here. Because it's projecting the cylinder to plane 1, giving us a point-to-point -point reference. All right, so I'll hit OK. And now you could use this to measure lengths. Again, I mean, even here you could you could uh, measure um, using these here. You could also end up doing Cartesian distances. You can use this as a reference for Cartesian distance. Uh, so let's say you wanted to measure, uh, you know, this uh, cylinder to this cylinder, and you wanted to get uh, alignment here. You could use that line for in your Cartesian distance as your uh, second datum reference. Uh, your primary being the uh, plane up on top. So there's some options there. Uh, it's just a useful tool uh, to create, you know, 2D reference geometry that you can use um, for, you know, for other either characteristics or features. Uh, so again, it's just projections and sort of the order operations to get flat 2D geometry referenced however you would like. We just happen to project this cylinder and this cylinder um, up, getting point-to-point -point measurements, and then creating a recall 3D line um, between those two. So if that was helpful. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks.